Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Please like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. This is my good girlfriend, Miranda. She is Kiki Palmer lookalike. I pre-did her eyebrows off camera. If you guys want to see it, just click the link. So I'm going to start with a clown white base. Next, I'm going to be using my Huda Beauty Topaz Obsession Palette. And the first shade I'm going to use is that orange, light orange color in her crease. For this eye makeup, you will need more than one crease brush for each color. Make sure you dig into your eyeshadow to make sure the color is visible on the lid. Then I'm going to grab the darker orange to add also in the crease to give it more definition. I'm just using a regular crease brush. All my brushes will be listed in the description box. Next, I'll be using that dark brown color only in the tips of the eyes. For each eyeshadow, I use a different crease brush and also I dig into my eyeshadow. So don't be scared, dig into your shadow. As you can see, I'm pulling the eyebrows up so I can make more room for colors. Right now, I'm just adding more color to the lid. Last, I'm just adding this yellow color on the edges of the crease just to soften it up. Now the next step, I'll be cutting the crease. I'll be using a MAC 242 brush and Makeup Revolution in the number C2 to cut her crease. To blend down the corner of her edges, I'll be using the orange in the palette to soften it up. Then you have to use a smaller mouth precision brush to get as close as possible to the crease line. Take your time when you get closer to the crease line when applying eyeshadow. Next, I'm using a matte creamy eyeshadow to place in the inner corner of the eyes. I use a smaller eyeshadow brush when dealing with the crease cut and placing colors in the inner corner of the eyes. A smaller mouth brush gives you more control when dealing with the eyeshadow. Next, I'm using a brown color, then I'll be using a little bit black to give it a little smoky look. Q-tip and a little moisturizer is another way to sharpen and clean underneath the eyes. Next, I'll be using a MAC Cosmetic Gold Reflection Pigment. This is a soft glitter, no glue is needed. All of my products will be listed in the description box. Next, I'll be using this Wet n Wild Liquid Jet Black Liner. It dries off really fast and I love how quick it works. I'm still trying to master this wing liner like everybody else. Then I'm going to take some Nutmeg Foundation just to sharpen up the ends of the wing. The 
the same way you sculpt the eyebrows, you also sculpt the wing. So I'll be using Pond as a moisturizer, then I'll be using Becca Poreless Primer as a primer. When applying this Becca Poreless Primer, I feel like it works better when it's dried into the skin than apply your foundation. Now I'll be using this Ella Girl Pro Color Corrective in the shade Orange for our dark areas. Less is more when using this product. It's very strong. Remember, if you have hair on top of your lips, you may see it through the makeup, so I try my best to just shave the hair. For our foundation, I'll be using MAC Cosmetic NC50 Studio Fix Fluid. Oh yeah, this is one of my favorite go-to foundation brush when applying foundation, concealer, contouring, Color Corrective, this will be listed in the description box. So as you can see, I am working the foundation all over the skin. Apply the foundation as needed. Some people will need more coverage than others. The outer perimeter of the face, I'm using MAC Cosmetic NW48 Studio Fix Fluid. I always use more than one foundation when doing someone's makeup. Make sure you bring the foundation as close as possible to the eyebrows to blend it out so you won't get that halo look. Because her blemishes are showing through the foundation, I'm using Nutmeg Cream Stick Foundation by Black Opal to pat on top of it to give me a better coverage. Now for the concealer, I accidentally picked the wrong color up, so I'm just trying something new. As you can see, that concealer wasn't light enough, so I mixed in another lighter one on top of it. So the blend begin. It's a cute color, but I want it lighter. That's not the color that I want it to be. It's a cute mixture, but that's not the shade that I want it to be. So I try to grab my beauty blender to see if that will help me thin it out some more and get it the proper shade. But it didn't, so I'm using MAC Cosmetic Pro Long Wear. NW30. It's a nice highlight, but it could be brighter to me. Now this is the color I'm talking about. I should have went with my first mind. So I'm combining my favorite foundation brush and my beauty blender to blend everything down. Pat and blend, pat and blend. You have to work that beauty blender into the skin to make sure it's feathering that product out. Now I'll be using my Karab Black Opal Stick to help with the contouring. When it comes to blending out contour, I normally pick up any brush that I think might be suitable or easier to work with or whatever brushes near me that I think will work. 
I'll grab it and just start blending. If you know how to work your brushes, you can use any brush. At this point, I'm playing with both the highlight and the contour to make sure it's nicely blended. This is a cute soft contour, but I want it a little darker, so I'm going to be grabbing my MAC Cosmetic Studio Fix Fluid NW58. Please comment and let me know if you see this dramatic change with a darker shade of liquid. Also comment if y'all think she resembled Kiki Palmer. As you can see, I'm using my favorite go-to foundation brush to blend down this contour. Next, I'm using this Beauty Blender to help me soften up the nose contour. Don't forget y'all, if y'all can't master the nose trick, always run a concealer up the bridge of the nose and you can make it slim. Next, before you set underneath the eye, make sure you blend out the fine lines underneath it, then set it. I'm using Benai Cosmetic Natural Set Powder to set underneath her eyes. Now to set her face, I'm using Natural Set by Benai Cosmetic, then I'll be using Dark Skin Finisher by MAC Cosmetic. To enhance the contouring, I'm using a Black Gradient Contouring Palette. You can find this at CVS, Walmart, Walgreens. The instruction on how to use it is right on the lid so you can't get confused. It's very simple. I could play her makeup all day, every day. I enjoy doing her face. Next, I'm using banana powder to bake her. As she bakes, then I'll be moving on to Juvia Place Blush Palette. All the items that I'm using will be listed in the description box. If you feel like you got a Nike check blush, don't be scared. Just use the same foundation blush to blend it down. Excuse my modem, you guys. She had a very important phone call to get on, but the show must go on. As you can see, all I'm doing is dusting all the baking powder off of her. As you can see that the banana powder is popping, so I'll be using some of her face powder by MAC Cosmetic called Dark Skin Finisher to tone it down. Next, I'll be using MAC Cosmetic Feline Black Cold Pencil for her liner. As you can see, I use a sponge so my fingerprint won't be underneath her eyes. Next, I use the same brown that I use in her eyeshadow. And I'll smudge it underneath the eyes. Then I'll smudge a little bit orange underneath the eyes as well.
basically I brought whatever was at the top to the bottom of her eyes. I like to use a piece of paper or cardboard to catch any fallout for in underneath her eyes. And yes, I will be placing mascara above the lashes to remove all that makeup from on her lashes. With all this powder, you have to go back and touch up your wing liner. Now I'm using the mascara to remove all that product from underneath the eyelashes. The baby lashes that I put on her first are called Wispy D. And the new top lashes that I'm putting on are Mink Lashes. They will be a part of my lash collection line coming soon. If you see that little blemish on her inner corner of the eyes, that's from her eye tearing. I will try my best to correct it. Next for the lips, I'll be using MAC Cosmetic Chestnut Pencil to outline her lips. Then I'll be using Honey Love Lipstick by MAC Cosmetic. I'm just using a regular concealer brush or foundation brush to blend the lip liner with the lipstick together. Now I'm using a MAC Cosmetic lip gloss called Get Rich Quick. I want 10% if she get rich. That's a pretty lip combination. Now I'm just using a drugstore setting spray and the reason I like this spray because it gives a good amount all over the face and also I use my brush to damp out the big bloppy wet part. Then when I add my bronzer on top of it, it gives it an extra pop. The bronzer I'm using is from Juvia Place. All the product that I'm using will be listed in the description box. I just use a crease brush for the nose bronzer. This is my favorite last part, final touches, fix, change, and rearrange anything that you see and don't like. Basically, I'm doing final touches. Her eyes was getting watery, so it made a little mess, but I'm trying my best to correct it. Last, I'm just pulling out her bottom lashes and she is done. Now in the inner corner of her eyes, I'm using NYX Mink Vision to give her eyes a little goldy pop. I can't forget about her mold. She has a real mold, so I'm just using the eyeliner to place her mold back. Now I'm doing my final setting spray using Urban Decay D Slick Setting Spray. Oh, and I almost forgot to highlight underneath the eyebrow bone. This is one of my favorite makeup look that I created. I am so happy and pleased about it and she is beat.
Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button. And please let me know what other videos you want to see and comment, 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 comment. And don't forget to comment and let me know, do she look like Kiki Palmer?